Emily Dean is spending the morning with some local firefighters. She's live in Grand Chute with more. Em, you should be. Are you an honorary member of the fire department these you days? You should be after today. And yesterday you were you hanging know, out. Right, yeah. You know, right. Exactly. Yeah, yesterday for the Pierce 100th anniversary, spending time with all of them out there. And now this morning at the Grand Chute Fire Department, I think I should be an honoree, like, um, you know, Firefighter, maybe? I think we can make I went that through happen. some training. Oh, right. yeah. Jesse Pickett is here with me this morning. We'll make we'll make something happen. But Rachel and Pete, like I said, we've been spending the entire morning out here. We're at Fire Station One in Grand Chute. They have this awesome pond right next to their fire station. You use this for training purposes. Yep. And we're gonna show some ways that you would rescue someone in the water. And we actually yep. have a victim out there. Why don't you just go through that for me? We have our victim out there. Uh, with our rapid deployment craft, that's kind of the last last resource that we want to use for them. So the first thing we want to try and do is try and reach for the for the victim, whether it's using uh, a pike pole or a ladder or something like that. The next thing we would do is throw to them for okay. reach, throw, row, go. We there. would try and throw it to them, but if he could, if it got to him or he couldn't hang on to it, um, then he would. We would have to go into it. Okay. Um, so if he couldn't hold on to it, let's say it was really cold out and it, he, he just wasn't able to hold on to it, then we would go in after him. So then um, we would take our rapid deployment craft here and both firefighters will go in. They'll bring it into the pond. And you were telling me this is kind of nice to have too because in the winter yep. you can even use this. Yep, we can use it in the winter if need be. Um, and it's nice using the pond um, in the winter as well just so we can find out how thick the ice is. Now, are they talking to them when they're going out there? Yep. And what would they be saying? They'd be telling the patient, you know, uh, calm down if he's if he's really frantic, um, just telling them what they're gonna do. So then now they're they're rolling out to him. And if if need be, uh, they, the last step would be to go in after him, go into the water. Um, that's kind of the last resort because you never know what the patient's mm. going to do when you're in the water. And I see that this rope is connected yep. because you want to keep the firefighters safe who yep. are on there, right? Yep. Should anything happen, see now the firefighters just lifted their um, hand and tapped it onto their head, telling the, the tenders on the shore to, to go ahead and bring them in. They have him in the boat. Go ahead and bring us in. Awesome. What a great thing to have mm -hmm. right at your fire station to help you train. Use it anytime we want to, yep. Wonderful. And they brought the victim to safety. Yep. Jesse, everybody, thank you so much for being with us this morning. Really great stuff. Rachel and Pete, we'll send it back to you. All right, thanks, Em.